Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Hare. I'm working with Professor Hazel Cox at Sussex University. Um, and they use tensors in their scientific research. And we built this game, this demonstration, with 512 LEDs to help explain and teach the science of tensors. In fact, vectors, matrices, and tensors. So you can see in this picture, all 512 of the LEDs are lit up while I'm setting it up. Now we've designed this device to have two modes. It's got a demonstration mode and a game mode. In the demonstration mode, I can set it up so almost any of the LEDs are lit up and we can show vectors, matrices and tensors as a demonstration. I'll show you that, show a few of those in a minute. In the game mode, it's rather nice because we can set up, we actually set it up so that we've got three games at the moment, which can teach about vectors, matrices and tensors and the participants can enter data into the device to play the game and learn about this mathematics. So we have three sets of buttons that they can use to do this. So there are eight buttons on one strip and there's three of these strips of switches and participants can use that to enter the information into the game. Now sometimes they play the game, they think they're entering the right information, but actually they're not. So we needed some feedback. So we've got a little box here and if they get it wrong continuously, it will come up with a red cross. If they get it right, they'll get a green tick. Now a vector is a quantity having both magnitude and direction. So if you imagine you're cycling along on a bicycle and you're going around a corner, you can think of the velocity of that bicycle in terms of the x, y and z components of the velocity. Hopefully it won't be too much z component of the, the velocity, unless of course you go over a bump or something. So these three numbers represent the components of the vector. In the first game, then, it's all about finding the x, y, and z coordinates of a vector. The game randomly lights an LED, and the participants have to work out the x, y, and z coordinates uh, to win the game, as it were. So here's set up on game one. The LED is flashing. You can think of the vector as going from the origin to that flashing LED. And the participants use the buttons um, to put in the x, y, and z coordinates. If they get it right, they've got a flash of LEDs, and it will move on to another randomly generated LED. So here's it in action. So they've got to work out the coordinates. When they get it right, it flashes. Then it generates another randomly generated vector. And it flashes again. And so on. So a vector is a quantity having both magnitude and direction. And the components of the vector can be written in this sort of one dimensional array. So in, the information can easily be stored in the computer. In computing, a vector is an array that consists of only one column or only one row of information. And unlike the example of the bicycle, which just has X, Y, and Z velocity components, in principle, in computing or in physics, you might have a vector that has many, many elements or many, many numbers in it. So the size of a vector, matrix or tensor, is given by its dimensions. Um, and we can represent that on the LED array in the demonstration mode. So for example, here I've got three LEDs lit up. This is actually an example of a one by three row vector. We can also set it up so the LED, there's still three LEDs lit up, but they're in the vertical direction. So this is an example of a three by one column vector. Now a matrix is a series of numbers in a grid. And in computing, a matrix is a 2D array that consists of rows and columns. So for, for example, the dimensions of this matrix is written by the number of rows M by the number of columns n. And we can show this in demonstration mode very nicely. So here we've got three rows by eight columns of LEDs. So this is a three by eight matrix. And we can extend this into three dimensions to make a tensor. So this particular tensor has got three rows, two columns, and two in the other direction, which is co often called tubes. So this is a three row, two column, two tube tensor a three by two by two tensor. And we can show that in LEDs as well. This is four by four by four LEDs lit. 
so it's a 4x4x4 four by four by four tensor. So in game 2, the object of the game is to find the dimensions. So the game will randomly create an uh, array of LEDs and the participants have to determine the dimensions of the array. When they're correct, the LEDs will flash and you'll get another challenge to solve. So let's see it in action. So the game's generated an array of LEDs. They've got to put in the right dimensions. When they get it right, it flashes. And then they get another one. Flashes again, they get a third one. And when they get that right, they get a wonderful flashing of LEDs. Okay, the third game is Crack the Matrix game. In this game, only the top 8x8 LEDs are used. And the, the device randomly creates a matrix on these LEDs, but just shows it for about a second, then it disappears. And then the aim is that the participants have to recreate that matrix. And they have to use the X and Y buttons where the LEDs were on to try and recreate the matrix. But we've got to be careful because we've been nasty here. We've set it up with two sets of coordinates that will actually blank the screen. So you've got to be careful, otherwise you're going to have to start all over again. So let's see it in action. Here they've solved it's some of the LEDs missing. and they've just got the last couple of LEDs to solve. They don't want to put in the wrong coordinates. Hmm. Not all of them are. It could be randomly off. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Yay! Well done. Eight four. Ah. So thanks very much for watching the video. We've got others in the series, so please do check them out.